around the year with bountiful harvest. What the Lord told me is that it's going to be year of the harvest. And at the end, God is putting it in overdrive. He's not talking about harvest anymore. Bountiful harvest. The kind of harvest Oluwa me a yo wa you. Now, you see, I'm not the pastor of anybody. Some people are not ready for a pastor like me. Listen, if you know that God sent me to shepherd you, if you know that you have faith in the word I'm speaking, the next time I say it, do something you have never done before and you will receive something you have never had before. The Lord, 2014, he will crown that year for you with a bountiful harvest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I said in the name of the Lord Jesus. I say it must be so in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command it to be so in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare it to be so in the name of the Lord Jesus. It must be so in the name of the Lord Jesus. Beyond every doubt, it is established in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Unstoppably so, it shall be established in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you. Because every limitation, every hindrance, every tie down, every tie back, receive the acts of the Lord, serve in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, you will crown this year according to your word, not just with a harvest, with a bountiful harvest. The New Living Translation says, bring it up, the full quotation, the full quotation of Psalm 65 verse 11, the New Living Translation. I want you to see what God is talking about. It says, you, Jehovah, will crown the year with a bountiful harvest. The other part says, even the hard pathways. I, I, I really want to pray for some people. I really need to pray for some people. Even the hard pathways. He's talking about the most problematic area of life. I dare you to have faith today. I, 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 in fact, I command you to have faith today. Even, the Bible says even. Which means it doesn't matter which one it is. Even the hard pathways will overflow with abundance I speak the word of the Lord from the altar of Jehovah I command that every hard part of life give way to an overflow I said overflow I said overflow good measure press down shake it together and flow it an overflow of abundance in the name of our Lord Jesus When the word of God says even, God is acknowledging that in some areas of your life, there are principalities and powers. The word even is never used by God concerning an ordinary problem. Because of you, God included the word even because of your situation. Whether it's an ancestral principality, whether it's a medical situation, even if it is dead, God will command resurrection. The Bible says, even the hard road. Do you know your helper will come through a road? Don't you know that your money must pass through a source? It says for some people, that road is hard. For some people, their arteries have become hard. So they suffer strokes. There's no passage of, of blood to supply oxygen to, to organs. God says even the hard pathways. No matter who did it. No matter how long. Even if you caused it. By the reason of mercy. Lord I ask for mercy. 
Lord, by the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. By the reason of your kindness, your loving kindness and tender mercies, I stand in the gap. I say, let mercy triumph over judgment. Over your husband, over your wife, whatever the source is, that every hard path, every hard road, every difficult area of life will give way to an abundance in the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 The word is overflow. You know what that means? For there, Lord, we're talking about an overflow. There is supposed to be a flow. A flow. Eh? A flow of income. Can I tell you something? If income is not flowing, eh? And cost of living is flowing more than income. No matter how holy you are, you become an onigbese. The proverb says, Lord, don't make me hungry, so I will not steal. Listen, many of us have become liars. Not because we're bad, but when we cannot pay our bills, we begin to say what is not exactly true. I want deliverance. There is a place our, the children of God will be. And no matter how much you want to serve God, it becomes hard to serve God. But he sets the captives free. He's the one that makes a way where there used to be no way. Wherever there is a flow, but the flow is not enough. I command according to the word of the Lord and overflow with a 